right, what's up everybody? On today's new episode, we got something very special for you guys. So today we are here in the city of Las Vegas in the mass plan community of Summerlin. The name of this neighborhood is called Red Rock Country Club. Right behind me, we have this gorgeous remodeled home and the listing agent is Samantha Paez with Signature Realty. Let's go inside, let's see what this property is all about because it's completely tricked out and I want to show you how dope this property is. Let's roll. Look, as we come in, we already have the stamped concrete, which is really nice, resurfaced. Take a look at this door right here. All right. Look at this. I want to introduce you to Samantha. What's going on? Hi, how are you? Say what's up to everybody. What's up, everybody? So, I've seen the pictures of this home. Mm -hmm. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? We got to call York right away. We got to get into this property. We got to shoot this property. So, I'm very excited. And I've been bragging to everybody out there, we got to shoot this video. Can you show us exactly what's going on? Absolutely. All right. So let's talk about this. Square footage, bedrooms, and bathrooms. Awesome. So it's 45, 46 square feet. Mm -hmm. We've got five bedrooms plus an office and okay. six bathrooms. Wow. And a three-car garage. Three-car garage. Yeah. So what's the backstory about this property? So the backstory, this home was acquired um, August of 2020, mm -hmm. so quite a long time ago, and there was a full top to bottom remodel, so mm -hmm. this entire home was down to the studs and the concrete. Okay. Now we added, also added a little over 100 square feet, okay. so we did some major construction and permitting, okay. which is where we got stuck for a little bit. But, okay. Yeah. Now by adding that, does that give you more of a value to Absolutely. the property? Absolutely. Okay. So Part of it is the bathroom. So right above us is a okay. bathroom to an additional bedroom. Okay. So we added that. And then we also added some square footage in the living room over here. Mm -hmm. So who came up with this design? Like what, what's, what is this style here? So the whole remodel was done by Forte Specialty Contractors. Okay. So they have an in-house design team. Okay. So that's how it came to light. Nice. Yeah. So let's talk about this. This is the, the main living area. Yes. Uh, the flooring here, is this travertine floor? It's marble actually. Oh, marble. And it was acquired from Turkey. Okay. So during the whole COVID slowdown, Forte actually sent someone out to Turkey, put a bunch of stone on a ship and brought it here because it was cheaper and faster. Oh, wow. Then with the COVID lead times and, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, obviously the scarcity of the marble. Okay. So I noticed there was a lot that was actually done to this home. I mm -hmm. mean, this, is, this thing is completely custom. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about drywall texture, but one of the most important mm -hmm. things that, that really caught my eye attention to detail is actually, I love how they did this actually this baseboard here where mm -hmm. you have this streamline here where you have this nice rip, which is really nice because it, it gives you that nice European look, right? Exactly. And that's just that extra step that you have to do because what this is is basically drywall on top of drywall to get that finished look. So that's really nice. Yeah, so it's called a flush base okay. or a recessed baseboard. And then in every home they do, they do a level five finish. Mm -hmm. That way all the lines look a lot straighter and that way everything matches. So as you can see, mm -hmm. this living room lines up with, this, with the kitchen. Yep. So that way everything's symmetrical. And so everything from here on was added mm -hmm. square footage actually to square the room off. Oh, wow, I like that. And you said a, a five finish, what was this called? Level five, five finish. So what it's is the that? smoothest the wall can get. Basically. Mm -hmm. So the smoother, the more expensive. Exactly, because that's why you see a lot of those orange peel because they don't have to deal with all that because exactly. at the, at the, end, at the exactly. end of the day, you got to mud it, exactly. you got to sand it, exactly. you got to look at it, you got to keep doing that. Yeah, you so, need to paint it and paint it again and it has to okay. be perfect. So what about the fireplace here? And it looks like you have some uh, connections for a TV. How big of a TV can you actually put here? That's a great question that I don't know the answer okay, to. Okay, we're gonna say 85 inches because that's what this thing actually looks like. <laughs> now this fireplace right here, is this an LED fireplace? It's actually not. It's not, no. it's just a regular fireplace. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Nothing special. <laughs> okay, so this is a get, well, this home is special, yeah. knock it off. 
Now, a couple things that I see that really piques my interest is take a look at this. You have this uh, grill, this linear grill for your air conditioning yeah, unit, right? Yeah, it's a right? linear air diffuser. I actually like that. It gives you that custom look. It does. Why did they do that? Basically to match the style of the home yeah. in, a, in order to elevate the price point and the finishes. It's and just one of those things that, you know, it looks a little better than a normal air diffuser. Mm -hmm. This home kind of reminds me of like a European type of clean look. That's, totally. totally. I, and I love that. And I, In Vegas, a lot of these home builders are starting to head this direction. Yeah. Okay. Another thing I see, we have distributed sounds and also you don't have the regular can lighting. No, we don't. Can we talk about this? What kind of lighting is that? So these lights are called mud and lights and basically they're flush with the wall. So mm -hmm. there's no cans that stick out or protrude from the ceiling, which is what makes them so beautiful, similar to the linear air diffuser. Okay. Are they pretty easy to change out as well? Or? They are easy to change out the bulb, the bulb itself, but because they are mud into the ceiling, mm -hmm. it's more expensive okay. of a fixture to put in. Okay. Yeah. We have a dual island. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the materials and how large is this island. Okay, so the stone is called Calicutta Machia Vecchia, also sourced straight from Turkey. Mm -hmm. And I, as you can see, it serves as the double island counters, all the rest of the kitchen counters. And we actually used it as a backsplash as well. Is that a one piece backsplash on here? It's two. It, it's two. It's okay. two. It's two slabs. Okay. Now, this is actually pretty interesting because here's the thing. You could just take two regular slabs and put it together, but they cut it in half and they actually split it. That's why the veins are pretty much in sync. So I do like that. That's why I asked exactly. you, is this one? Yeah, no. So all the stone in the home is actually yeah. book matched for that purpose. So I love that. I even, I don't even know if you can show this, but right here and down the vein of the middle of the other island, it's all book matched. That way everything looks extremely clean. Oh, I love that term, book match. I'm going to steal it. How's about that? We're taking that one. All right, what about the appliances here? You guys went with the Viking. How come you guys yep. went with Viking? So we went with all Viking because that's what was available. Okay. <laughs> because COVID. <laughs> yeah. So actually we have two panels next to the fridge. The fridge was actually intended to be much bigger because obviously this is a family home that requires yeah. a lot more space, mm -hmm. but that's what we could get. And so the panels actually pop out for okay. if and when COVID is not a thing and you, you can acquire appliances much quicker. Okay, so you have the option to go 48 inches in on here. Exactly. I think it might be 60, but yeah. Oh, 60? Okay. Yeah. Nice. I love that, how they actually did that. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, I noticed a couple things here. We have our outlets, which is, gives that streamline, that extra we do. detail, yeah. which is really nice. Uh, why did they put that on here? Convenience. I think as home building continues, convenience mm -hmm. is becoming more important. And so the faster, the quicker, the easier, the more good looking mm -hmm. things can be. That's how people prefer them. Now, another thing that I've seen that I really like is actually the cabinets. Let's talk about the cabinets, the style of the cabinets. We know it's a full overlay. You got some nice hand pulls. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's probably soft closing cabinets. Yeah. Who's the maker and where did you guys actually get these things? I mean, a lot of this actually Forte tries to self-perform in-house. A lot, yeah. Most of their trades in order to streamline the process and yeah. be able to do these renovations in one year instead of three. So this banquette seating was custom. So the fabric was custom. Obviously the size is custom. It is fixed to the wall so it doesn't leave the mm -hmm. home and it's just absolutely beautiful. I think you could even put a little bit larger of a table in order to seat more people, but it's just okay. beautiful. You, you mentioned this is the built-in, so this is a part of the home. Mm -hmm. What about the furniture here? So the furniture comes from a staging company that we use that comes out of California. They don't typically stage in Las Vegas, but they did, they did a favor for us. Okay, cool, yeah. nice. Now I, I noticed that uh, on the windows here you guys changed out the sliders and the doors we did okay what's so, the story about that i do know where these came from these were built in house at forte specialty contractors okay and they're beautiful steel window and door systems okay yeah and, and this is just a french door is that a french yes. door or a sliding door nope that's a french door so right in the middle you can open it it does mm -hmm. not slide wow it is pretty windy today it isn't is it? really windy today okay. Well, this is a pretty big lot size. So what's going yeah. on with the lot size here? So the lot is uh, 8,274 square feet. Mm -hmm. So we're obviously building a pool. The pool, the home did not come with a pool. We actually ripped out all the pre-existing concrete yeah. and laid new etched concrete. And then the pool is going to be plastered next week, actually. We are on the 10th hole of the private golf course right here, which is actually a separate membership from Red Rock Country Club itself. Mm -hmm. I noticed you guys also stuccoed the, uh, the side of the walls too, didn't you guys? We did. We did. Okay. Nice. It gives you that custom look. I definitely do like that view fencing. It almost seems like the sun is going to set on this side. So the good news is that you're going to get a lot of your sun exposure here too as well. Exactly. Right in the afternoon, which is really nice. So now I noticed this is a two-story home. So let's go upstairs because I want to take a look at the primary and the primary bathroom because that's the number 
two selling point of the home. Let's do it. So, so what, what is this? What is so this? So those called? are steel plates covered yeah. in a gold lacquer. Uh -huh. So partly for support and partly for to break up the room, and then as a visual piece. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And you, you mentioned that there was an office down here too as well. Yes. So to my right, we have the powder room for guests, and then we have an office space. Okay. Cute now, one thing that I've seen about this that I really do like is, take a look at these doors. These are some gorgeous doors right here. These are some solid doors. What kind of doors are these? So these are actually custom made in-house too. So from the hinges, very expensive hinges, about $300 a hinge. Mm -hmm. And then it's called a piano door. So obviously you can see the metal inlay that mm -hmm. steps down on each side of the door. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And then, oh, what? we should shut the door so they can see the... Okay. Oh, actually, we can shut this door. Okay. So if we shut this door, you can see that it lays flush with the wall. Ooh. Wow. I want a piano door now, too. <laughs> That's nice. Look at that. I'm going to have to add that to my custom home. <laughs> piano door. Okay. So we have, what, an extra room down here? So we have one bedroom down here and full bath. Okay. So you have the parents come visit, guests, anyone. It's just a little bit of getaway space mm -hmm. from the craziness that's upstairs. I love that. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's go upstairs. So part of our construction was we actually flipped the stairs. So the entrance to the stairs was on this side, but what? we flipped it so that way Why? we could gain understair storage right here oh, and, wow. and the support in order to create the extra bathroom that I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. That is very interesting. So that way you can have extra storage. We yeah. love that. So this is a storage closet. Obviously you can never have enough storage, especially yeah. in a house of this size. Then over here we've got a nice sitting area. I mean, the intended buyer with five bedrooms plus an office mm -hmm. may have children. So the intention for this space was desks. Nice. Homework. So here's your, what, second suite, right? So this is the second bedroom. So this is actually the office and then okay. the added bathroom that was added to mm -hmm. create an extra bedroom. Which will create more value. Exactly. And like you said, all permits have been pulled, correct? Yes. Perfect, okay. All right, what's down this way? So down the hallway, we have two extra bedrooms, both with ensuite bathrooms and closets. Okay. These are pretty large. What's the average uh, room they size? They are really large. Yeah. I don't know. Because this is actually a king size bed. It this is. This is probably maybe 13 by 15, so it's a pretty decent size. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that. at least 15 by something. And I noticed that we have the transfer ducts, which is really nice. Is that something that you guys added or is that already part of the That system? was existing. It was? Okay. Yes. All right, so what's going on here? Ooh, look at so this. So here we have the primary bedroom, mm -hmm. and it actually has a built-in headboard, mm -hmm. and then we have mirror for backsplash. I love that color of the mirror. It's more like a bronze type it of is. look, huh? It is. Again, uh, smooth texture, and I noticed on this one, you have uh, carpet. Yep. Why did you guys decide to go carpet on this side? It's more comfortable. I guess that makes sense, because you don't want to always have mm -mm. all cold Could stone, Could you imagine right? this marble going all the way yeah. to it? Yeah. That's true. All right, so this kind of wraps around. So this tells me something construct. You guys did this, right? No, so this was this existing. original. Oh, okay. Yep, the balcony was existing too, as well. So. Okay, got it. Now yeah. let's let's go to the bathroom because this is the number one selling point right here for it me. It really is. As I come in, first thing that draws me is this feature wall. Uh, what type of material is this? This is marble. Nice. This is actually gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a nice tub. You have a nice tower too, as well. This is like the centerpiece of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, cabinets. I know the cabinets are a little bit different. Let's talk about the cabinets and the configuration of the vanity. How did this was transpired? Yeah, so we've got floating cabinets here with all Kohler plumbing fixtures. And then we've got floating vanities as well. Floating vanities as well as floating storage. Mm -hmm. Now I do love how you have the LED lights in the back of the mirror. Mm -hmm. It gives that elegant look. That's pretty It dope. does. I don't know if you want to feature one of the coolest parts of the... Oh! Get, it, get over here, guys. Take a look at this. Well, look at this. That's dope. That's ball of status. Now, let me ask you this. You, you put this here, right? Yeah. And we have a toilet. Wouldn't it be better to have his and her toilet versus one toilet and a urinal? I suppose. Yeah. Huh. Maybe. <laughs> Think about that. Yeah. But I do like that. It would so throw off the symmetry, which is the whole point. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So what, what's back here? So then we have the closet, right? Yeah. So we've got another vanity table right okay. here, also with marble countertop. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the shower. Oh, so the, the shower, again, is cladded with complete marble tubes Marble as well. slabs, yeah. Okay. Both matched marble slabs. Love that. So mm -hmm. basically we have rainfall and a shower head. 
And I believe these actually tilt so that way you can bring out the steam, correct? Correct. Now I do love the fact that we have a window here, mm -hmm. or actually two windows, mm -hmm. that bring in a lot of light. The sun is going to be on this side too as well, mm -hmm. so you're going to get a lot of that light. So I do love that. Mm -hmm. Here the closet, it looks like you guys haven't done anything with the closets, but you guys already made the adjustments for the racks to get preset, correct? Exactly. So this was so that way anyone can make their custom closet, essentially. So they can choose their spacing. They can okay. choose where they want hanging and where they want their drawers based on what they have. Now, this is not the original. Obviously, this no. was all built out. Yes, this was all built out. Okay. Wow. I love the fact that you have a balcony off the uh, primary that pretty much overlooks this beautiful course and all these homes and the mountain views. So I guess the main thing is... What is the price of this home? So the price is 3.5 million. 3.5 million. It is, yeah. Okay. We've been on the market for one week. We've had some great action. That's good. And we'll see where, where it happens. Okay, uh, HOAs for something like this. 750 a quarter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if taxes, talk about taxes. What mm -hmm. are the taxes? Roughly 8,000. 8,000, mm -hmm. okay. So guys, if you guys want more information about this property, I'm gonna have Samantha's contact information in the link in the description below. Also, if you guys want to see a full video home tour, I'm also going to have a link in the description below. Other than that, I really do appreciate you guys tuning into this channel. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and let us know what your thoughts are about this property. Other than that, peace.